Hi, I'm Ryan Longo. I'm the new business development and technical specialist for Alberta and Saskatchewan for Bioforce. Today I'm going to show you how to load your Ecoject system and how to load a canister. This is also steps on how you can go about cleaning your canister using our cleaner. So what you're going to need for this is your Ecoject cylinder, your Ecoject manifold, your loading gun, the large wrench that comes with our Ecoject system, uh, your triazin or your Ecoject cleaner, at least one canister, and a funnel. So the first step is to take our funnel, put it into the top of our Ecoject or cylinder, and we'll pour in our product or our cleaner. Now, if you're just doing a cleaning session um, after uh, your days of injection, you're not going to need that much. All you need is at least 200 milliliters of product um, based on how dirty your system is. From there, we'll take our Ecoject manifold, we'll put it in the top, and we're going to screw it in place. Once it's hand tight, you can take your wrench, put it on, and just tighten it up a little further from there. After that, we'll take our loading gun, and we're going to put it into our uh, shark bite here and just push down give it a pull make sure that they're uh, that it's actually um, attached and not coming out and that it, it's properly atta attached from there we're going to turn our valves to the off position um, this way is open these ways are off from here we're going to charge our system now the proper operating PSI for your Ecoject system is between 120 and 150 PSI. So we take our quick connect fitting, attach it, open our valve. And we're above 120 PSI. Once we reach above 120 PSI or in between 120 and 150, we go ahead and we turn our valve off. Remove our quick connect fitting, and then we can turn on the valve for the loading gun, making sure that there's no leaks coming from your gun or from the system itself. Um, the first step after you've done your fill is to take your loading gun, put it back into your container of alcohol or your container of triazin, um, depending on what product you're using, and you're going to just Give some sprays back into the bottle just to ensure that you remove any air bubbles that are in your loading gun um, feed tube here. It's a little hard to see using the cleaner, but with triazin being that nice uh, reddish brown color, it's very easy to see any kind of um, air pockets in there. From there, we'll take a canister, we'll mate it to the end of the loading gun, we'll press the handle and we'll fill until it stops. From there, depress the handle, remove it from our canister, and it's filled. At the end of the day, if you have any product left in, the first step is to turn off your loading gun uh, valve, then you'll open up your air valve, allowing it, the system to depress, Once all of that is done, we can then press down on our shark bite here. Sometimes they're a little hard to get down, so you have to find the proper angle while pulling on the tube at the same time. Sometimes I find using two hands to get it to depress it helps me to get it properly. From there, we take the, this end, put it back into our bottle, hold our loading gun up above, depress the trigger on the loading gun until all the chemical or all of the um, cleaner is out of the tube. From there, 
we can remove our manifold. Opening up our air and our feed tubes to allow the product to drain back into the cylinder. Side. From there, we'll take our funnel and pour back the product into its proper container, whether it being alcohol or triazine. So that's how you can go ahead and fill up your EcoJack system to either do a cleaning or to fill up your canisters to go out and do your injections. Thank you.